We used to think that bigger was better when it came to antidepressant dosing, but that was based on studies with tricyclics, some of which correlated tricyclic response to serum level. It hasn't held true for the newer generation of antidepressants after Prozac, and this new study puts another nail in that coffin. This study looked at the problem from a different angle. It's a network meta-analysis, which means that it assumes that the placebo arms in all of the 160 trials that it compared are similar. Now, in reality, we know that they are not. Placebo arms differ, but the results of this analysis still land in the same ballpark as prior analyses did, which is that the benefits of antidepressants plateau once you get beyond the lower dose range for depression. We're talking doses like 20 to 30 milligrams a day for fluoxetine, 60 milligrams a day for duloxetine, and around 30 milligrams for mirtazapine. The results are in line with an analysis that Dr. Rian Aziz published in the April 2022 edition of Carlat Psychiatry Report. The online article has optimal dose ranges for most antidepressants. There were three exceptions here where the benefits continued to rise even into the higher dose range. Those are the tricyclics. In this analysis, they looked at amitriptyline and clomipramine and the norepinephrine-based antidepressant reboxetine, which is available outside the U.S. The great unknown here is the MAOIs. No analysis of dose response curves has looked into that class. MAOIs are reputed to have a dose response curve where going higher brings better results, similar to the tricyclics, but that clinical lore is largely based on a case series from 1989 where they tested high-dose tranalcipramine in treatment-resistant depression. How high? We're talking 90 to 170 milligrams daily with an average of 112 milligrams a day. At that kind of dose range, you're going to need to check for orthostatic hypotension and watch for falls in the patient. The bottom line, unless it's a tricyclic or an MAOI or riboxetine, going beyond the lower dose range with antidepressants is likely to bring more side effects, things like insomnia, fatigue, tremor, sexual dysfunction, and apathy, even things that can look like depression, without moving the needle much on depression itself. But wait, haven't we all seen patients who got better, say when we moved fluoxetine to 80 milligrams a day? Yes, we've all seen the placebo effect in practice, and it is quite large. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, and head on over to thecarlatreport.com, and consider subscribing to our newsletter, which brings you unbiased news about all things psychiatric with useful clinical updates, expert interviews, and bottom line assessments of the latest research studies. Thanks for watching.